YouTube. This is Melantart VA. This is Saki Amano. And joining us once again is... John Pierre. Hello! <laughs> and so, yeah, welcome to the final of the mainline reviews for the Sonic Retrospective Team Sonic Racing. And before we start, let's start, like, let's actually I talk about, like, the voice act, uh, some of the new additions uh, to the voice cast, even though one of them was in Sonic Colors for the DS, but since we didn't cover that, let's actually begin mm -hmm. with Mr. Kyle Hebert as Big and the brand new character, Dodon Pop. Kyle, buddy, you've got a lot of talent. Why are you voicing Big? Uh, uh, I mean, the fact that, you know, uh, especially yeah. considering the fact that he voiced the narrator in Dragon Ball Z and adult Gohan in the history of Trunks movie. Uh, uh, plus like, that's a uh, sweet like challenge. Super, uh, he's also Gohan in Super. So, so like, all I can think of when I hear, uh, I think it's the Don't Pop appearing up on the screen going, uh, will the heroes win? Find out in the next exciting episode. <laughs> of Team, um, team Sonic Racing. Okay, Sorry. then, the next guy, give me a second, I already forgot to this guy's name, give me just a minute, I can't believe I, I already forgot the next guy's name. Give me... Bryce? No. Bryce Packenbrook. No, not yet, we're gonna get to him, but that's not... Well, 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 he must have been that good of a voice actor if he forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're talking about... Ah, uh, yes, uh, here we go, Dave B. Mitchell as Knuckles. I want Travis back. Bring I want Travis. Travis. Bring the Travis. Yeah, like, sadly, like, Dave, Dave sometimes sounds like he's outright straining his voice just to keep that Knuckles voice. Yeah, and it's like, Travis did it. Like, naturally. he's hurting his throat. Yeah. Okay, then, next up, uh, we've got Aaron LaPlante as Omega. Granted, he... He, he definitely understands Omega, but sadly, Vic did not deserve mm -hmm. that, uh, deserve that, 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 to, like, lose the role like this. But we're not going to go into yeah. that. There's already plenty of videos about that, no. especially by Hero Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. And now we get to talk about Bryce. And by the way, there's actually a funny little thing. Okay, so, like, Bryce voice is silver. Kurt Thornton voices Shadow. Both of them are actually brothers. S S S S A O as like Kirito and Klein respectively, which technically makes them bros in another universe. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Shadow, is this true? I don't know if I want to be your bro in another universe. I get this. Is... I truly. <laughs> anyway, shall we move on? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Okay, okay then. Like, uh, for like Bryce's performance, Bryce, we know that's you. Why are you using the cat noir voice from Miraculous Ladybug? We know uh, you've got range. And again, it's like the fact that you are Aaron Yeager and Kirito prove this. Mm hmm. Granted, Bryce's has, Bryce's has, Bryce's uh, performance fits the character, but it's just why did it have to be this specific voice? Yeah. Okay. Why then, the okay, cat noir? Okay then. Next, next is actually a double header. Erica Lindbeck as um both Omo Chow and Blaze the cat. Omo Chow, she definitely sounds the part, and same with Blaze. She she definitely sounds like both parts like uh, this is like Utaba from like a uh, Persona 5 and Ellie from Love Live. The woman's got amazing range. Oh yeah. Okay, next uh, and yeah. finally oh no. Sakuya, you're never gonna believe this. Remember Patrick Seitz? Yeah. He he's now voicing Zavok. Ew. Oh my god, Ew. Patrick, how did you uh, I'll go from like eight Why? Sword Art Online to this. To one of the worst villains in all of Sonic. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah. Shall we? Anyway, anyway now that we've spent about five minutes talking about the cast, 
shall we talk about the plot of this game and all its nonsensicalness? Yeah. Please. We shall. Which, by the way, some of the writing just feels very juvenile. Like, a Tails and Knuckles and I, that's like, who talks like that? Yeah. Like, I think the last time I heard someone talk like that was Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah, and that was like, oh. Yeah. And that was played up for comedic effect. Yeah, that's true, but like... <laughs> anyway, effectively, a Team Sonic receives an invitation to come to the beach for a mysterious race. And, and it's here that we meet Dodon Pog, alien Tanuki. And honestly, I like the idea of, like, a Tanuki character. We've long been missing any sort of raccoon character sets up... Sets up. And not, to, and not to mention just the whole idea of like, I like the whole idea of like a Japanese mythological creature. Oh, yeah, like uh, you've actually, I've been like waiting for a character, but I like that since your OC is, is basically a Japanese mythological creature. Yep, because my OC, Vale the Cat, is actually a Nekomata. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to go into that. Anyway, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so like. Yeah, well, yeah, so like, a weirdly for like, it's like a challenge, challenge, you can actually choose a racer, unlike, say, Sonic Riders. Sonic Riders. I like, I like, I like choosing a racer, which means I can, essentially, I can essentially play as, like, whoever I want and avoid the ones I don't want to play as. And you can customize the cars. Yes, you can. In your liking. I like, I like being able to customize my car. Oh yeah, like you can even customize it down to the horn. Yeah, which is great. Okay then, and of course after each chapter you actually unlock a new team until you've got all four of the good teams, which is Team Sonic, which is of course Sonic Tails and Knuckles, Team Rose, which is Amy, weirdly a bunch of Chow and Big, Team Dark, which is of course Shadow, Rouge, and Omega, and finally Team Vector. Team Vector. Silver, which okay, like okay, kind of weird. Question. Where is cream in all of this? Like, oh, we get explanations for why Espio and Charmy <coughs> aren't here, but not for cream. Where is she? Is she the new big? I guess so. And then it's like, I don't uh, think. And it's like it doesn't make sense because I mean, like, People I like mean, cream. Sure she's annoying, yeah, it's like, but she's precious. And it's like. Granted, She's precious little granted bunny. you could maybe give the explanation that, like, Vanilla wouldn't let Cream race. Maybe, but, like, at, at, the, at the same time, nobody knew about the races until Sonic brought it up with Amy, Big, and the trio of Chow with Omocha ha hang, hanging around, which, that's another thing. What were a bunch of Chow and Omocha just doing hanging out with Amy and Big? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> and it's, it's like Omo Chow, and a Hero Chow, and a Dark Chow. Which, by the way, if you think about it, given Silver's history, wouldn't Espio make more sense as a teammate given Sonic Rivals 2? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's a sling. just me. And even though they aren't playable in the story, let's take a minute to talk about Team Eggman. Eggman, Metal Sonic, and Zavok. Zavok should not be here. It should be infinite. Yes. In a tricycle? <laughs> maybe, maybe not the Phantom Ruby tricycle. That's kind of a joke. But still, it should be infinite on the team. Like, last time I checked, canonically, not with our joke, Zavok and Eggman hated each other. Why would Zavok willingly work for Eggman again? Yeah. Not bringing up up the joke we got. We're not going to talk about that. We already did before. No. Also, like. It's funny as it is. <laughs> also, like during like the story mode, there's a whole bunch of different car challenges and like. Okay, like the racing I can handle, but it's shit like gathering ring challenges and those fucking daredevil drift challenges that I can't. And not to mention the survival challenges. Actually, uh, uh, Joanne, like uh, the survival races, I can handle. I said, like all, 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 all you have to do, not, 
not a be like at the back of the pack, but it's shit like Asaka. Yeah, we're actually uh, uh, stuck on like chapter six because of these drift challenges with the posts. Yeah. We're still and some of these are just like. Six. Yeah, and it's like some of these are just like stupid. Like this is like driver one's tutorial levels of just insanely hard. Yeah, like um, it's borderline unfair, and I don't like uh, saying again, that un unless I mean, it actually is unfair. Or, or even some of the challenges in like Splatoon 2's Octo expansion. That's how unfair they. Can be. Yeah. Yep. And also it, like it could be fair. <laughs> It could be fair. It could, it could be fair that that there's not giving us a uh, difficult challenges and stuff like the drifting and Joanne, just traffic wait. attack. Joanne, just wait until you actually play the game and experience what we're yeah. talking about. Oh, uh, I believe. Wait. Oh yeah. By the way, the cutscenes—they're fucking lazy. Yeah. Very. Like, hey, very lazy. Like, hey, it feels like a, a team, a team, a team, a Sonic a racing was like rushed out and then forgotten about. Like an abandoned yeah. child. That, that's what Team Sonic Racing feels like. It feels like Sega didn't care and simply wanted uh, to like appease fans while they were working on the 30th anniversary, but no DLC or anything has come out. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's like, it, exactly. It feels like a holdover. Yeah, like, yeah. Sega, how is it that Crash Team Racing did what you did, but better? Mm-hmm. I mean, and with even, I think, even less, con even less content. Uh, no, actually, uh, Crash, 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 uh, Crash, uh, Crash, uh, Crash uh, team, uh, team racing has like nearly 50 racers in all of its up across all of its updates. To compared to like what 15 or 20 characters in Team Sonic Racing? 15, yeah, 15. Like so much, uh, so many like shout outs uh, to the fans. Like that's what Team Sonic Racing should have been. It should have had like so many more characters. Especially because Sonic has an extensive universe. Yeah. An extensive cast of characters. I mean, they, they could have brought back Marine. They could have brought back Cream. They could have brought back. Yeah, I mean, like, it, 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 yeah, they could have brought back uh, Yo. Oh, yeah. Mephilus. However, like, how, 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 however, like, something else, else that like really bothers me no customizable team i wanted team triple s i wanted team triple s but sadly they didn't give us give us that option for like changing teammates that's something we needed because uh, i feel like let's be honest who didn't want team triple s i would i would what about you Sakuya? would you have liked to a uh, team Team Triple S? I mean, I, I wouldn't have objected to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, then. And I would love some Triple S. <laughs> okay, then. Let's talk about the ending. Effectively, Sonic beats Eggman again. All of their cars are frankly broken. And instead, Adodampa magically makes more cars appear. And they can keep racing. That's it. That's like, wow, Sega, you clearly rushed this out the door. Yeah. Yeah, I think they do A granted, the game's fun if you're if you do like multiplayer. The multiplayer can be really fun and so Oh, the multiplayer's nice. great. Still have to race yeah. together. Yes. But though, mm -hmm. to be honest, the, the campaign is something you could definitely take or leave. Yeah, that's true. And also, guys, something uh, something uh, uh, we didn't mention, Crush 40 is finally back after so many years. Like, uh, where did they go? Yeah. Where were they all you know, this time? In the words of Darth Vader, the circle is now complete. Yep, mm -hmm. like, welcome back, uh, back, uh, Crush 40. Let's hope you're around for a long time to come. And that was... Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and that was Team Sonic Racing. Final thoughts. Yeah. Tried, I'd say... 
try it, but do not expect a too much unless you've got a lot of patience. Yeah, and also the single, um, the single player campaigns will be something you could easily miss. Yeah, Julian, um, ma- and make more and make like DLC and I don't know, Julian, and more ca- uh, and add more characters or something. Have been out, but now we might never get DLC. Uh, at guys, least make the make the characters. Yeah, yeah, try yeah. it. It's worth a try. Anyway, yeah. everybody, like I said, this is the final of the mainline games in the Sonic retrospective. Sometimes Sakuya mm-hmm. and I will ultimately review the IDW comics, even though they currently I aren't finished. Mm-hmm. However, no, they're not finished yet. They're still in the metal virus. Right, Sakuya? Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. Anyway, everybody, mm-hmm. thank you so much for essentially sticking with us. Us like uh, through this a uh, 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 retrospective and also special special uh-huh. uh, uh, thanks uh, thanks uh, thanks uh, to the Egg Paladin for drawing all three of us for this review. We greatly appreciate it, dude. Oh yeah, oh, yeah thank you. Was, you. Uh, the art was awesome. <laughs> anyway, it was guys, beautiful. I am Melantart VA. I'm Sakuya Amano. I'm Joanna Pierre. And thank you so much for following all of us on this journey. Bye-bye. Deuces. Bye.